Hey guys, Nerdy Shogun here. I'm Ray, and um, I know I'm not as energetic in this video like I am with my other videos. Um, this morning has been a little rough. My cat, uh, Malakot, is not doing good. He um, has been yelling a lot and just not feeling good. Um, I think he's, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a vet, so I can't say what I think he is, like what's going on with him. But I'm getting him to the vet today, um, and hopefully they can figure it out, and hopefully it's not something too serious. Um, but I wanted to do a video on what I would do as a kid that was absolutely stupid. And honestly, I'm just glad I didn't die, because um, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely stupid. And... Um, just don't do it if you have kids watch your kids don't be dumb like me <laughs> that's all i can say um so i lived right across the street from my friend my best friend so i would constantly be asking hey can i go over to my friend's house and hey can i sleep over at my friend's house all the time so i would never be at my house um i'd always be at my friend's house and um when I wasn't able to go to her house, I would try to entertain myself, and I was always outside, like, never really inside for too long, just trying to go outside and basically play pretend like every other kid. And so one day, I had this stupid, stupid idea that, hey, if I throw rocks into the road and I go out in the middle of the road, when cars are coming and try to pick them up, will cars stop? So... I would be throwing rocks in the middle of the road. Yes, very stupid. Throwing rocks in the middle of the road and like waiting for the cars to stop. And most of them would stop and they would just like wait for me to like, uh, you know, pick up the rocks and go back to the other side. And um, I kept doing this thinking it was like the funniest thing ever. And mind you, this road, um, people where I lived drive really stupid and they would basically... Uh, speed past my my house all the time so again not smart again very stupid <laughs> but one day I thought hey I'm gonna do that again because I thought it was so fun the first time and I threw um, like a whole bunch of rocks in the road and I was going doing my usual thing waiting for a car to, and then going out there and picking them up and seeing if the car would stop this time a neighbor saw me doing this and actually like got out of his car and was like what are you doing and I'm like I'm picking these rocks up off the road I uh I found them on the road and I wanted to pick them up you know lying uh, mind you I'm like five when this happened and he's like why are you in the middle of the road you need to get out of the middle of the road and you know me thinking oh it's fine I'm, he, I'm gonna get away with that I'm gonna be fine no he, he literally parked he's like we're gonna have a talk about this he's like get in the car and mind you he's my neighbor so he doesn't live <laughs> he's like live right next to me so there's like cars backed up behind him as I'm getting in the back of this guy's car and he slams the door shut goes to his side cars are honking at him at this point uh he pulls it into his house gets out grabs me by like the, this part of my my shirt and like drags me to my house and was like not paying on my mom's door and it's like do you know what your kid did do you know what your kid freaking did he actually was cussing and stuff because he was like obviously pissed and uh i would be pissed too if i saw my neighbor's kid doing something as stupid as i did and uh yeah, my mom was, like, absolutely furious with me, which I would be, too, if I was a mom. And uh, I got grounded. I had all my toys taken away. My house or my room looked like a freaking insane asylum where people don't have toys or anything. It's just a bed and a window. That's all my room had at that time because my parents were like, yeah, you're getting all your, your toys taken away. Uh, we're not playing this game. So for like two, I think it was like two weeks, I got my toys taken away. I couldn't go outside, couldn't be at my friend's house. And um, yeah, that day I learned, don't be stupid. And uh, I'm lucky that I'm alive because like I said, cars speed and are stupid and even stupid, stupider. Yeah, that, that was a good word, Gabby. <laughs> dumb. People are dumb. Um, so I'm really glad to be alive at that time. Um, 
And I'm really glad that my neighbor caught me doing it when I did because if I kept doing that and my car didn't see me, I probably wouldn't be alive today. So that's kind of a short, uh, stupid moment as a kid. So I really hope you enjoy this and um, I will get, I'll keep you guys updated on all caught. Um, um, I was going to show you what Malachot looked like, but um, he's hiding right now. Like I said, he's not feeling good. Um, again, I'll keep you guys updated on how he's doing. And I hope they don't keep him overnight. I really don't. Um, and I hope it's just something very minor. But um, right now, to end on a little happier note, here's little Yam. Oh, there we go. This is Yam. He's a year old. And he's my little boy. He's spoiled, like always. And, uh, yeah. So, that was my Dumb as a Kid video. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Ray, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.